Hi, I'm Kyle Sullivan, and this is my peer review of the first part of our st street photography unit for this class. Um, right off of the bat, I really didn't realize for myself when I was shooting that the monochrome has such a dramatic effect on everything, but here in yours, I'm very clearly able to see that I kind of, I didn't really understand it when I was doing it myself, but I really, really like it in these images. Um, I think some of these images are from Lexington, but it also looks as though, like that I know is in front of the hospital, but it also seems like some of, let me get to it, some images, that's Lexington, I'm not sure that is, and then it looks like when you move down here that some of these are definitely not in Lexington, and I was under the impression that the class was supposed to be, or this unit rather, was supposed to be all a singular place or a locale or idea. And I think you may have captured the idea really well, but it's not a singular place and that kind of throws me off with this. Overall, I think the composition of your images is really well done, especially these landscape pictures. They're very, very broad, they encompass a lot. And then you've also got, you know, sort of the milling about of the people in the foreground, which um, sort of puts them off to the side for me, but it's sort of the way that they're smaller than all of the buildings and they're seen as sort of minuscule really stands out as, you know, the impact of this big city and everybody being sort of like ants almost who are a part of it. And I really, really enjoy that actually. Some of these pictures use a darker monochrome it looks like, and I really like how you've got the lines from the sidewalk leading off into nowhere, but there being, you know, these other people on the other side of the street that you can see just sort of milling about. For me, the cleanest thing I can see, or the clearest thing rather, is that this set of pictures portrays a lot of waiting, which, I mean, that's sort of the easiest thing to capture, but I really like it. It does, you know, people with hunched backs, people spread out, you've got in a couple of these pictures people waiting for the bus, stuff like that, which really stands out as, you know, just this sense of waiting, of dragging, you know, a lull almost, which I think the black and white, especially on these more dreary days that you've captured, really stands out and makes it work more. I really enjoyed this picture in particular because of that sort of boxed in feeling you get. You sort of get a claustrophobic feeling as well as, you know, that waiting, that really the lack of purpose, which I really enjoy about your pictures. And then oppositely, you've got these pictures of a run with people, you know, smiling. It's got a really nice sense of movement. You've got varied movement from people running, some people walking, and then your spectators lining the side. And I really like how the street works with you in this picture to sort of fade the background into nothing. I really, really enjoyed that. I think as far as improving the pictures, I think, like I said, shooting one location or one ideal, I think you did go for an ideal of, you know, a city but when you look at Lexington composed, as opposed to whatever larger city you were in, it sort of speaks to two different locales and two different ideals. I especially like, like these kind of pictures really stand out to me just featuring people going about their everyday lives and there's no, there's no sense of purpose, which I think was intentional with this picture is, you know, people waiting, there being really no driving factor, but the assignment sort of suffers from that as well because, you know, there's really no sense of unified purpose to it because you've got this sporadic sense of, you know, we've got people in Lexington, but then we've got this big city that's unfamiliar to a lot of us. And I think if you had done more pictures in that weirder city, that unknown city, it would have stood out a little bit more, at least to me. But overall, I think these images are a really good starting off point, a really good jumping off point. I would just say try to keep them a little bit more focused and really decide what you want to show with these images, which is something that I feel like I struggled with as well. So I'm glad that I can sort of see the same struggles and the same, hopefully, improvement in both of our works as we keep going.